everyone, I'm Anne Hathaway, and I'm reading The Wonderful Wizard of Oz. This funny tin man, she answered, killed the wildcat and saved my life. So hereafter, you must all serve him and obey his slightest wish. We will! We will! We will! It's a wonderful book, and I was surprised at how much more there was in the book, because the movie's so delightful, you think, oh, can't go any further than that, but then it does. Are there many of these mice which call you queen and are willing to obey you? And it's a story that the more fun you have with it, the sillier and more creative you get with it, I think the better it is, because it's a story that can handle it. Oh yes, there are thousands, she replied. Then send for them all to come here as soon as possible and let each one bring a long piece of string. Okay. I just felt like I was reading to a child the whole time. I felt like I was reading to my little cousins, um, trying to keep them entertained, trying to keep them from watching TV. So, you know, so I just, when I was reading it, that's what I had in mind. I had never read the book, and I think that uh, that's a lot of people's relationship with The Wizard of Oz. A lot of people know it from the film. Page turn. It's just a wonderful discovery. It's amazing to be able to discover something new about something you feel you know so well. Oh, no, declared the scarecrow. This lion is a coward. Really? asked the mouse. He says so himself, answered the scarecrow, and he would never hurt anyone who was our friend. I think that when you're when you're working on a movie, there are a lot of things to be aware of. Um, how the character moves, how the character looks, how the character sounds. Here, you don't have your face to tell the story, so you actually have to become much more acrobatic with your voice. It was very dark and the wind howled horribly around her. And weirdly enough, in order to get more character in my voice, I had to do really crazy things with my face, which normally on in a movie you would get called out for that because it's so obviously silly and, and ridiculous. But you couldn't get away with it in this environment. The Tin Woodman, raising his axe, rushed toward the little man and cried out, Who are you? I'm Oz, the bright and terrible said the little man in a tr I'm Oz the Great and Terrible. I'm Oz the Great and Terrible, said the little man in a trembling voice. But don't strike me, please don't. I'll do anything you want me to. I had no idea how I was going to play the wizard, and then he came out as this sort of effeminate southern man. Um, so it was like, oh no, I'm not a bad man. I'm just a very bad wizard. And I just... I mean, there was no planning in that performance. It just kind of flowed, and the way he would tell stories, just I heard the melody of his uh, of his voice very, very clearly. And I was I was sad, but I'm like, don't go away in a balloon. I want to spend more time with you. 